Uh, for a start, I just want to ask a question. Uh, can you raise a hand if you play mobile games on a daily basis, like Candy Crush? How many people play Candy Crush? <laughs> Has anyone played any pocket jump game ever? Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, so the goal of uh, today we're having this presentation for a really utilitarian reason. We we are always hiring people, and we want to encourage you if you're interested in mobile gaming to apply uh, to check out our website and basically work for us. So who are we? Uh, we are in downtown San Francisco. We have a pretty amazing office. It's a company started in 2009 by two crazy engineers from Stanford. Uh, and since then, we've come a pretty long road. Uh, last year, we had sales of $82 million. We are Sequoia Vex. Uh, we raised, I think, $5 million really early on. And then we haven't raised another round because founders have a philosophy of maintaining the control of a company and always being responsible of, the, of their future. So we're really diligent about spending our money. And also we've been cash flow, cash flow positive since 2009. So we don't actually need much. Uh, we had 175 million downloads so far. And our games are have Paradise Cove, Secret Passages, uh, Campus Live, Epic Empire, and so on and so forth. If you heard any of them, really good. If not, well, you're going to hear from now. Uh, I want to, uh, there are several things I want to talk about in terms of what we do, uh, in terms of new ideas and new features. Uh, we are experimenting with not only mobile games, but the ways to tell the story on a platform. We're experimenting with player versus player games. We're experimenting with 3D. And there are lots of new things that uh, we are working on currently. But I want to give a flavor of what our games actually look and uh, what you're going to see if you like to play one of those. So if the slopes, I'm going to show you guys a game called Pat Paradise Call, which has been out in the market for two years already. And it still has hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people playing every single day. So this specific game stage is of a user that's been with us for several years, and this person it's actually a female. She has every single possible building that's available in a game. Uh, she plays every single game that we have in the market. She's the top user in every single game that we have in the market. She sends us chocolates and gift cards on Christmas, Valentine's Day. She knows team members and product managers for every single game we have. She greets us, sends us emails, and that's the person we make games for. So for us, our users are not only numbers, it's real users with real time, and we really appreciate every single minute they spend in our games. And these are the people we make our games for. Uh, so uh, I think we're a lucky company, and I think we have lots of cool, exciting features coming on. Uh, and we, as I said, we're hiring. We're always hiring for product. We're always hiring for art. We're always hiring engineers. We're always hiring QA people. So if you guys are interested in any of that, Please apply, please visit our website, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Yes, please. Uh, I cannot speak about demographics. It's not that easy to get the demographic information from Apple. From her, about her, I know that she is from UK. Uh, that's all I can say about it. Demographics for our different games are different. Uh, assumption is that the main demographics for mobile games is female, older than 30 years. But we have games that are played by teenagers mostly. We have games that are played by male users mostly. Why are these games addictive? Uh, I don't know. It's like it's a great question. We, it's, we, know, we don't know the answer, but my guess is that you always, you always have a skin in a game. So you, you expand, you explore something new, and you have a new building in a game, and you always want to come back. You always want to see what's new. You always want to see the new quests, new characters. Every single of our games is being updated on a weekly basis. So there is always new stuff happening there. I hope this answers your question, at least partially. Next question. Yes. We don't sell our games. It's uh, all our games are free. It's free to play. You can download and play for free. Absolutely, you can have all these buildings for free. At the same time, if you want to have these buildings like a bit quicker than everybody else, you can pay for. You can pay us for convenience. And so it's the, it's the, um, 
in, in virtual, yes. You might say that we're selling buildings in a virtual yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For this specific game, yes. Yeah. Uh, we are on iOS and on Android as well. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Nisha works for Microsoft, in case you guys forgot. Uh, do we have any other questions? Well, no, that one you'll actually. And not, not too many mobile gamers in the room, huh? Well, Shalva, thank you so thank much. You. And uh, yeah, round of applause.